This is the one move you have to change to hit your driver. This is Throwback Thursday, part of the channel where we go back in time and look at old tips, old golf clubs, and anything that you suggest on the channel. Now, in today's video, we're talking about a drill that I was told when I first started playing golf, and this is something that still sticks with me now. Well, actually, I'm gonna brave it today. We're gonna to hit some drivers. Um, comment down below if you've actually managed to hit some drivers into your net, because I'm not feeling very confident about this now. Right. If you are brand new to the channel, warm welcome to the channel. Um, please do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And also, I know a lot of you are going to not like me mentioning this, but we've got the giveaway. Sorry guys, I don't want to ruin your chances, but everybody needs to know. It's the Garmin S62 giveaway, and I will leave the information at the end of this video. This is the bike wheel drill. There's two elements to it. One to control your path, and the second well, probably one of the most important things that everybody's striving to do is hit the ball on the up. So the first thing I want you to imagine is that this driver head makes a bike wheel and it's called the bike wheel drill. Remember, there's two elements to it. We're trying to think that this club head makes the bike wheel which goes entirely around us. That's throughout the backswing, that's through impact and through the follow through. The first element we're gonna look at is how we control that bike wheel from the down the line perspective. Now, this is something that I've been playing with and this is why I've brought this back up because when I was younger, I really struggled with controlling that bike wheel and I got my bike wheel exiting left. So if we imagine the driver head, if we make swings all the way around our body, this is the bike wheel that our golf swing creates. So if we just look at it from the lower half of the bike wheel, so imagine we've swung the club head back and it comes back onto the woggle, a lot of people get the woggle inverted to the left. We want to try and feel we get it back to neutral or roughly around neutral or slightly inverted to the right. Now, a lot of people with driver, because the ball gets up in their stance, the shoulders get a little bit open. So a quick alignment check that I want to add to this first element of the drill and the bike wheel drill is really make sure the shoulders potentially feel like they're to the right, but make sure we've got some nice parallel alignment, not the shoulders open, because that will increase your likelihood of your bike wheel pointing to the left. Now, if we want to get out that slice, it's something I want you to do. So the first part of this, we're going to really imagine our bike wheel is inverted to the right side. So down at the golf ball, we're going to imagine that goes round and inverted to the right. And the move that I do to try and feel this it, it might sound a little bit strange, but I really use the feeling of the imagination of using that woggle as if it's there. So I feel as though I make that swing back. And okay, how do I get my golf club to link back up with the woggle that points out to the right? I like to feel, and this is my motion that I do it, I make some slow swings to the top, lower half goes, upper half goes, allow the club to fall. And it's, it's almost like a momentum drill and a gathering of speed. So it's a, a gather to the right, not a pull to the left. So up, gather, and through. Have you noticed, uh, I've still not hit a shot with the net yet. I don't think I can actually bring myself to do it. The first part of this drill is understanding the bike wheel and how we control it, getting it back to neutral, as opposed to being way out to the left. Part two, how do we now control the bike wheel drill to allow us to get that ball on the up? And that's something that we're all striving for. We've all heard the top guys on tour, the long drive hitters, all striving to hit it on the up. So let me tell you how you can do it. Right, back to the woggle. We're gonna imagine we've got the woggle again in our hands. Now, what we wanna try and feel is a lot of people, if we imagine where this golf ball is on our woggle right now, that our golf club is on its descending arc here and will be hit a little bit earlier. That's gonna hit the ball on the down. Something I do, I have to admit, I really struggle with that. So we wanna say, right, if our bottom of the arc is happening slightly after the golf ball, so you can see here at the minute, the, the woggle's touching the ground after the golf ball and we've already hit it. How do we move it so we keep it to be hit on the up? How do we move it so we can hit it on the up. Well, we've got to move our woggle from here, bottom of the arc, to here. So the bottom of our woggle, we don't theoretically want it to touch the ground, but for the sake of this explanation we do, 
our bottom of the arc and our waggle touches the ground before and then that allows us to hit it up. So we're learning to control our bike wheel from the down the line perspective, so club path, and also from the face on perspective of bottom of the arc. And if you can do that, that's the one thing you need to know to bomb your driver. So now we understand the theory behind what we're trying to achieve. Number one, that imagination of that gather into the golf ball rather than that pull on of power. And number two, controlling that bike wheel from after to now before. So simply, this is how I want you to do it. Remember, we're all about- Simple tips, simple things that are really effective in improving your ball striking, improving your compression and overall distance. So this really goes back to, again, something that I was told as a child to really help me hit some better golf shots. And it's something that's really stuck with me. T-Peg, I want you to place in the ground roughly about two inches behind the golf ball. So I can see there that I've got a focal point of where at my bottom of the arc. If we say our bottom of the arc before was after, like we explained with the woggle, we're trying to move that bottom of the arc behind. And that's really going to align at the golf ball and the up, become a lot more efficient. So we're going to hit some shots now. Yes, I am going to brave the net. Probably not full power, but I'm going to test it out. All I'm imagining is that I'm going to feel like I graze that tee peg that I've put into the ground because that's taking my bottom of the arc from being here to before and hitting that ball on the up. Wow, for me that felt, I'm not going to say strange because it's something that I can do or I'm trying to do and something that I'm using to guard against hitting it on the down but I really have to be concentrated on doing that and moving my bottom of the arc before the golf ball to get the most out of driver. And that's really going to help you get the most out of your driver too. So if we add in part one, trying to control the bike wheel from down the line. And now if we add in part two, moving the bike wheel to end before the golf ball, so bottom of the arc happening before, this now gives us a great opportunity to hit this golf ball on the up from the inside which means a little bit more power, a little bit more control, and hopefully some better drives. So on last week's Thursday throwback, I asked you all a question. When did you start playing golf? Ben Brembrick said he started playing a bit late at 43. Now, in my opinion, it's never too late to start playing golf. Yes, it will be harder to pick up the smoothness of the technique, but if you've got the time, it's nothing you can't do. And with my simple tips, with my simple drills, this will really help you today control the bike wheel in terms of club path. And understand how you now hit the golf ball on the up. Two key essential skills in one drill. What more could you ask for? Now, before we go, make sure you let me know what things you want me to do on Thursday Throwback. Remember, I'm here to help you improve a golf game. So if it's driving, it's irons, you're struggling with certain areas of your game, please do comment them down below because I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. This is all we've got time for today on Thursday Throwback. See you tomorrow.